Wanted to take you out to some live images here. This is in the Capitol Rotunda, the Cannon Building. The Cannon House Office Building, which is right across the street from the U.S. Capitol, right? So we've got members of the Capitol Police there arresting demonstrators one by one. This is the uh, Voices for Peace group. This is the same group that was involved in a sit-in protest in this exact same building last October. Of course, they are timing their protest to the arrival of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Washington, who is set to address Congress tomorrow. You can see them holding signs that say genocide. Um, of course, they're all coordinated wearing red. And again, as you're what you're watching here is the U.S. Capitol Police individually arresting them. The police tweeted uh, that they will be arresting any of those protesters um, because they've been asked to leave. And so again, wanted to give you more of a bird's eye view here. You can see the signs, the scope of the protest here. As Adam was touching on, we saw uh, a large protest back in October. And so this is very reminiscent of that. And so we will see, you know, the police start to clear them out more forcefully here. Uh, you see that let's let's we have to stay with this because there is a lot of activity there going on in the Cannon House office building right now. You can see that members of Capitol Police are taking these banners away from these protesters. What we saw there the last time this was happening was uh, a line of paddy wagons from DC police outside the Cannon House office building on New Jersey Avenue, where I, I was literally there when that happened in October and they were taking them out one by one. So you see that second floor of the rotunda, the second and third floor are generally used by members of the media who are reporting stories live across the country, saying that they're, they're live there on Capitol Hill. So listen, we're going to keep a close eye on that. You can see it's on the verge of perhaps getting a little testy. I will tell you that this group was not violent. The last time they did this sit-in protest in Cannon, but our producers are keeping a close eye on this. Anything else breaks out, we're going to bring these pictures back to you live here on the air.